So what weight is what we do for small ring myeloma patients currently, uh, at least in, in Europe, although the NCCN guidelines in the US do have a recommendation to include patients in trials or consider lenalidomide-based therapy based on the two phase three trials. The high prevalence of use of watch and weight in the rest of the world is really the question around who do we treat? And the understanding around who the high-risk myeloma is continuing to be worked up. One very useful clinical criteria that the IMWG consensus has emerged is around the use of the 2020-20 criteria around 20% plasma cells, 20 grams per liter uh, paraprotein and 20 serum-free light chain ratio. At least what it does is it's able to help us understand a group of patients who've got close to kind of 60 to 70% risk of progression to active multiple myeloma in two years. What we really see is more trials being done in this space, as well as more biological studies to refine the population who would benefit from earlier treatment. And this is what we're gonna see over the next five years. Clearly the community is moving to treat and look at small ring myeloma early, but they wanna do it for the right patients. And that's where the work is concentrated in the next five years.